Hello there! This is DBT and this Art of Rooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 8. And today, I'm gonna be working on another time limited event, this time for the Ramadan Cup, to see how far into the leaderboard I can get and maybe, you know, to get some rewards and all of that good stuff. But also, we will be having a look at the current new car hunt and as well as an update to what happened on the Formula E Gen 2 time limited event that I made a video about very recently. But before we go into any of that, you know what to do, hit the like button for this video as well as subscribing to the channel because I post literally every day. So go ahead, do it if you enjoy my stuff. But all right, the first thing where we're gonna have a look at is the car hunt because that is what is more handy. And of course, that is why I have this beautiful car on display, the Aventador Super Veloce. The car hunt literally just began some 12 hours by the time I'm recording this. And it features, of course, the Lambo in the stage or tier number one in the premium lane for about 10 bucks. This is about 10 US dollars. And there's also a free car at tier 14, which should be the Porsche Panamera Gran Turismo. I think that's the one. Now, don't worry, I will be making a more in-depth video in regards to the car hunt and more specifically the protest of this car to, for you to know if you want to go for it or not. And it's a good car. How good? Well, that's a little bit subjective, but anyway. Now, as far as the update to the Formula E Gen 2 time limited event, oh boy. Now, last time that I showed it to you in the video that should be appearing in the top right about now, uh, I managed to get an, a time of 53, uh, 53 seconds with 723 milliseconds. And that, was, that put me at, I believe, 7%. Where am I now? Because I didn't prove it. I am 2% baby! But how? DBT, how? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you. So in fact, I'm gonna show you a couple of the laps that I did um, so that you see the progress that happened in, in them or through them, yeah. Now I'm gonna be playing this without sound because when I was doing all of this, I was, you know, uh, playing copyrighted music because I was just chilling on my side. I wasn't necessarily recording a video, though I did want to record a laps to show you um, or, or hopefully capture the moment if I got something good happening in the race. So I had done already a bunch of races. Don't think that this was the very next race. No, I had done already a bunch of races and little by little had been improving the time. Over there I went a little bit wider on the drift, but from there on I learned that you just gotta commit to go in perfect nitro all the way. And if you're lucky enough, you're able to do that turn that I just passed without actually touching the wall. And obviously that's gonna help for a perfect lap or whatever, whatever that's called when you do a certain amount of meters and without touching a wall. So this lap wasn't all too different from the, pre the, the laps that I had shown in, in the last video. But I still, like I said, I was recording pretty much every single attempt to try to capture if I happened to get a better result. And this was indeed one of the results that was a little better. I actually over time started getting a little bit more comfortable in this curb right here to learn when to start the drift so as to not hit the wall too hard and lose too much, too much time on, on the drift. So right here, I got a time of what? 53, remember the previous one was 53.723. And this one was, come on DBT, there we go. 53.640, so that means that I shaved about, what is that, 80 milliseconds, so that was already better. So if we fast forward a little bit, you will see that that put me at 6%. So there we go, I was at 6% at that point. So that wasn't too bad. But it, of course, wasn't enough. So I continued recording. And in fact, I started getting some feedback. Originally, it was Rubencito in our Discord server that showed me his lap. He posted it in our server. And that's when I learned like, oh, I actually am going on the wrong route. So over here, I corrected the route towards the very end of the race. The vast majority of the race remains the same. You know, oh, look at that. In that one, I did much better at not touching the wall or anything. So that looked pretty well. I mean, pretty good. But overall, you will notice that the entirety of the lap is basically the exact same thing. So nothing too special going on over there. I didn't do any type of magic. Though over time, I started focusing more on hitting those dividers that I just hit one there. Um, it's more important to hit as many as you can. Uh, obviously going for all the pillars for the sake of some additional nitro, just doing some straight lines as good as you can in order to, um, you know, travel the least amount of, of meters. I think I started the drift too early in that one. And in fact, I had to do two drifts. But I was like, okay, let's go on the upper side, which is the change to the route that I did. And just like that, I improved my time yet again. And this time with a time of what? Um, come on, DBT, show it, please. Thank you. 53.525. So from the last video, I already sh sh shaved like 200 milliseconds. So that's pretty good. And that put me at, where did it put me? Uh, come on, where's... 
Oh, there we go. 5%. So at that point, I was really happy because I was inside already of the best reward for the event, which obviously is the Formula E Gen. But it still made me nervous because that means that if more people continue playing and beat the, my time, I might get pushed out of 5%. So I wanted to keep on pushing until I got a better time. So here's another attempt that I did. And I'm not going to show you the whole lap because it's basically the same thing. Just towards the last section, let's say the last third of the race, is where I cleared up or cleaned up a little bit. Like I said in the previous one, I did, previous one, I did two drifts. Over here, I did only one drift. And I failed a perfect nitro there. Did you notice? I went for double tap nitro instead of perfect. So that was kind of kind of messed up. But even then, it was still a better time than the previous attempt. This one leaving me at uh, 442. And in terms of percentage, I already had hit 4%, and that made me really happy. But even then, I wasn't done. And this one, I will show you the entire thing, because this is the best lap that I got, period. And that is the one that got me into the 2%. So over here, the starting drift, uh, or that starting curve, I did it pretty well. Over here, I also did a fantastic job at staying close to the wall without hitting either one on the left or on the right. This jump was good enough. I touched the wall a little bit there, which is not fantastic, because then that ruined my, or delayed my perfect lap. But same situation, right? Going basically on straight lines as much as possible. Look at this, this is what I was saying, trying to hit more of those, because that tiny bit of nitro can make a huge difference. Staying close to the right to kind of get a near miss, along with a bunch of City Havocs. And again, every single bit of nitro matters in here in order to keep the perfect nitro going for as long as possible. And here we go again with the cleaned up, uh, version of this turn one drift it was a little bit long but no problem i didn't miss a perfect nitro this time one drift and stick to the wall and then just do some triple tap hope for the best and there we go and that was my absolutely best lap that i got from it and yeah that one uh what time did it did i get uh 277 that was my absolute best lap that i got now, like I said, this is not like, oh, just for laps I managed to improve my time. No, I had to do this a bunch of times. I had to practice quite a bit in order to get to this result. So that's why I wanted to show you this. Look at that. I was so happy. I'm <laughs> like, yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you this so that you know that even if you don't get the time on the first attempts, for a cup like this that has such a good reward, like one of the kings of a particular bracket, and it's really for free so long as you get a good time, I think it's worth practicing for the sake of you know improving getting a little bit better and you know don't give up don't get discouraged just keep on trying until you get something because man you miss every shot you don't take now we're back to the actual game so yes two percent uh now my position actually went down i think it was in like 600 or something and that is obviously because more people have played um and more people have beaten my time but i'm still within two percent so this is more more than safe also there's dark <laughs> what's up dark and look another rumor um so yeah this should be guaranteed for me to stay in here so with that out of the way let's actually do the ramadan cup and see what it is that i can get now having a look at the rewards it's a bunch of parts but uh the 10 percent you get half a million fusion coins which is fantastic and if i happen to manage five percent i will also get five direct upgrades of class s so let me activate my boosters and see what it is that i can do over here all right so let's see this now also let me know in the comments right now write it down in the comments if you want me to keep on making videos like this, trying the time limited events, because that is one thing that I rarely post in my channel. And I don't know if you guys are interested, because like I said, it's not about me showing the most amazing times out there. Um, I'm not the type of player, but I don't know, maybe you find it interesting to see the struggle and, you know, the, the grind in order to get better results. Maybe you like watching that, I don't know. So I'm going to go in the route that I'm most familiar with in this track, though I, don't, I do know that this is not the best one. I think it's better to go on the lower route, but still, I just want to see where the, my very first attempt is going to take me. Um, so, oh god, I bounced on the wall. That's not good. It's fine. It's fine. And go for the jump. And then... This car actually has some really good macros, so I'm going to see how far triple tap gets me. But alright, yeah, no, don't exaggerate, DBT. Obviously, if I go triple tap all the way, I'm gonna run out of nitro before I get to the finish line. M maybe even much sooner than getting there. Alright, there we go. So that's my first attempt with 42 seconds, and what was it? 100 and some? 200? Uh, okay, no, four, 42 seconds with 57 milliseconds. Alright, I have no idea where this puts me, but seeing that the rewards aren't as good as those of the Formula E event, I think that this is going to reflect on me getting a, a better percentage. I'm going to guess 8%. I think that's my my percentage right now. In spite of, even though I picked a pretty bad 
Brad, but let's see. And my result is 7%. Did I say 8? Man, that was close. All right, so I already made it into the half a million fusion coins. That's fantastic, but I would really like to get over here. So let's continue trying and try to improve my time. So I don't know. I, I, I just think that it was important for me to give you an update on what happened on the other cup. Because maybe it was, you were going to be like, oh, DBT only got 7%. And later when I show, oh, look, I did get the car. You're going to be like, but how, DBT? I saw it. You had a terrible time. It's all a matter of, of practicing, of grinding. And like I said, I don't have alien skills. But in saying that, practicing definitely makes you better. So, oh, God, I hit the wall again. Um, I saw someone in the comments of the Formula E gen being like, oh, I, I, I'd rather save my, my boosters. And I'm like, no, don't save your boosters. Go for it. It's a really good cup with really good rewards if you manage to get into the 5%. Even if you don't get there, well, you still get some stuff. But cups like that is where you, even if you have a skill issue like I do, I think it's worth um, going hard at it if you like the reward, obviously. Because, um, man, it's rare for, for the game to give you this type of reward. So you got to make the most of it while you can. All right, that definitely improved. Um, the time, but not by much. So, no. Let me let me see where that put me. Did I lower to six percent? Maybe? Nah, I don't think so. And where am I? Six uh, percent? Yeah, that put me on six percent. So I think if I do a decent lap where I don't hit the wall on the on the difficult curve, I should be able to hit the five percent. But let's let's keep on trying. Because seriously, if you do that turn well enough, um, it it really can save you a bunch of time. But you need to be quite cognizant or very aware of the capabilities of your car. Because if it drifts drift too sharp, uh, you're going to hit the inside of the curb. If you underestimate or overestimate the, the drift, you might end end up hitting the outside of the curb. So, yeah, it's a, a bit of a guessing game. All right, there we go. I think that was much better. Probably... Oh, I didn't get the... I didn't get the barrel roll. Oh, that's no good. All right, going for triple tap here. And, oh, man, I did that one too wide. And I'm going for perfect nitros because you can see that I'm kind of low on my nitros. So. Gotta make sure I have enough for the end. Oh, I bounce off the wall. Come on, come on. Just a little like that. 41 seconds and something. I didn't get to see that. Milliseconds. Where did that put me? Oh, wow. Did I just shave like half a second? Oh, that definitely should put me in 5%. Definitely. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm curious. I want to see. I want to see. Come on, game. Show me. Show me. Where am I? Where am I? 3%, let's go, baby! All right, 3% should be safe enough for me to stay uh, within this. Because like I said, if I was on 5%, I'm always worried that some more people are going to play and they're going to push me ever so slightly into 6%. But being in 3%, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to do one last attempt here and see if I can get it just right. Because again, I there were a couple of issues there with uh, some turns being a bit too wide. The fact that I didn't get the barrel roll. I'm going to try once more, but... If I don't get a good result here, that's fine. I can live with the 3% that I already have. So, let's see. Let's see what can DBT, what can DBT do. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to hit him. All right. Not super high. Good. I'm going to try to hit the City Havocs for the sake of some Nitro. Triple tap for good measure. Come on. Give me, give me the barrel roll, please. Nice. All right, now I can go for triple tap. Prepare a little bit soon for the turn. Yeah, it wasn't... Oh, come on! Oh, that's bull... Oh, come on! My car just scat... I mean, I don't know if it was noticeable in the video or not. Because some of these mini skids are, are, you know, not easy to see on video. But I swear, my car scat towards the right side. Ah, come on, man. All right, you know what? I know this was the worst time, so... Okay, I said it was going to be the last time, but I guess I'm going to do one more. One more. Come on. Come on. I believe in myself. I can do this. I can do this. Right, let me let me focus over here. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, it was going pretty good, to be honest. Ah, that's what I was trying to do in the previous one. Nice. A little bit too high, but it's okay. Got my barrel roll. A bit too high again, but all right. Here we go. Please don't skate on me again. 
Oh, oh, they kind of did, but oh god. Did you see how it suddenly... Hold on, hold on. All right. I think I did get a slightly better time. Slight. It wasn't... No, I think it's about the same. All right, well. But yeah, did you see that part where I was saying about this kid? Did you see how my car suddenly swerved to the right? Not too much, so I didn't crash. But that little swerve, that's not just, you know, me steering like that. You know that the car doesn't steer like that. That was actually a, a little skid that almost sent me against the wall again. But hey, it's fine. Two person, let's go, bye bye! All right, very well. Very, do I know anybody around here? Uh, I don't think I know anybody around here. Just checking in case there's any of the rumors around. Oh, there's a Poro! Look, I'm telling you, we the Rumi family are so big that you can, you're gonna see us in the leaderboards quite a bit. It's always good to see the rumors around, uh, whether they have defeated me or have defeated them. Most often than not, they defeat me, but hey, it's still the same thing. So there you go. I just wanted to give you some uh, insight into my struggles for the time-limited events. And like I said, do let me know in the comments if you like this type of video where I show you this, this process of trying and trying until hopefully you get something. Because, I don't know, maybe that's interesting to watch, or maybe not. Maybe you're going to be like, DBT, this is so boring. Let's just do multiplayer, in which case, yeah, maybe I'll go to that. But all right, once again, hit the like button, subscribe, and that's all. Bye-bye.